Hey everybody, but first Star Gaming here, back with another first look video. Today we're gonna be checking out Large Visible Machines new turn-based strategy game based on the board game of Lou Pulsifer's Doomstar. And so this game has been described as uh, sort of like Stratego, but a little bit more fluid in the way it's played. Um, superficially, it looks sort of like uh, space chess, but um, I'm going into this completely blind other than watching like a single video. So uh, these will be you know, my accurate first impressions for the most part. But uh, anyways, the game released uh, a couple days ago on Steam, and so we're checking it out now. And uh, they are also working on an iOS version as well, so you can pick this up for the PC or on the phone, whatever you prefer. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and jump into a skirmish. Um, there is also you know, a, a campaign that you can play several successive missions with some story. And uh, multiplayer, which I think is the primary focus of this game, is they kind of want you to get online and play with other people. But uh, I'm just going to play with some AI for now because I don't feel like getting my ass kicked. So let's go ahead and we'll play as the humans. Um, standard or full? I'll go with standard for now. Alright, so select a ship and... Or sorry, select a ship and click or drag to deploy. So what is this? A dreadnought. I imagine these are pretty tough. So it says, apart from the Doom Star, Dreadnought is the most powerful ship available. And that's sort of what I would have guessed. Let's put you somewhere in the middle. I, I have no idea what the strategies are for this game. I'm sure there are several strategies. Actually, I'm going to move you back a bit. I've got a couple though, let's maybe put you on opposing sides like so. And then I've got two, oh, these are minefields, huh? What do we got here, light? Well, let's go through the list. So we had the dreadnoughts, then we have battle cruisers, carriers, heavy fighters, light fighters, command ships, negaspheres, what are these? Will defeat any ship it actively attacks, but will also de be destroyed itself. When attacked by an opponent, its power is zero and will be destroyed. Negaspheres cannot enter the gravity wells of black holes, otherwise they will be destroyed. So this is like a suicide ship, basically. I want these maybe up in here. Oh, I only get one. I'm going to maybe rush him through the middle or something. Now, I want the fighters to sort of work as a screening force for my dreadnoughts, maybe. I'm going to move them a little bit wider, actually. Let's put you guys on the flanks, maybe, like so. And I'm going to put some minefields out here so that they can't, you know, flank me. And let's see, how do I want to set this up? I'm going to put the carriers here. I'll put you in the middle. And then we'll have some fighters screening like so. I'm going to play this a little bit like chess in that I'm going to use the fighters as pawns and then we'll kind of just use everybody else however we see fit. Uh, I think this side's going to need a little bit of help. I'm actually going to switch them around like that. All right, let's start and we'll see how this goes. So obviously we don't know what's happening here. Um, Admiral Ivar is telling me I should prepare to be destroyed. So let's grab you and move you here. How do I move? Let's see. Oh, so he can't move. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. I can rush those fighters forward. Let's get these guys up to... I'm not sure how we should do this. Let's move to here. Um, there we go. And we'll click done. So what's he going to do? He's going to move this way. Apparently you can move in multiple directions. Okay. Very interesting. Should we engage? I don't know that we should engage. But I, I guess better with the fighters than something more valuable, right? So we'll move in these fighters and we'll see what we get here. We've got a carrier. We may move another fighter ship this turn. I think I'll move these guys up to... Let's see, if I put you there, can I move again? No, okay. So he's going to head back with his cruiser. We need to move somebody up. I'm going to have these guys shoot all the way back and maybe just cause some trouble in their back lines. We'll see what they do about it. He's going to move forward and over. That's a lot of movement. 
some fighters against my carriers. He's blind to what I've got too, so at least uh, we've dealt with those fighters now. That could be something very powerful or something very weak, we don't know. So sending in my carrier could be a bit risky. I'm gonna go for it. Oh wait, he can't move that far. Whoops. I'm gonna send these fighters in. Let's kind of figure out what he's got going on. I'm gonna sacrifice some of these guys to just discover what's on the battlefield here. We've got some fighters against fighters there. Let's send in some more here and we'll see what we've got. I imagine we're gonna hit a lot of fighters up front. So they wipe each other out. We're gonna lose these fighters here. But uh, at least we know that we could take that out with our carrier if we need to next turn. Let's see, he's going to attack one of my ships there. Oh, and he's going to stack up to take us out. That was very good play on his part. So, what should we do about that? Let's see. Hmm. That's tricky. I'm going to move you here. I guess we'll wipe them out. And then we'll have to figure out what to do with the heavy fighters next turn. Looks like they're going to get out of there, which is smart. They're going to attack the Negosphere and kill it. They're getting very close to my command ship here, so I'm going to need to do something about that. Let's send in these fighters, because that'll allow me to send in these fighters as well, and that'll be enough to kill them off. And then we'll have a nice little screening force in front of our command ship. What's he up to now? Oh, okay. So he's going to sacrifice them. Interesting choice. I need to get my... Well, I need to get something in front of my command ship, so let's put the fighters there. And that will allow me to move some other fighters. I think we'll put these guys right here. Now, what are they going to do? Oh, it's my turn. I'm going to move you back to here. I'd like to go after him. It's just these carriers are so slow. Or sorry, that's the Dreadnought, isn't it? Yeah, sorry. That's the Dreadnought. What might he have right there? I'm going to move the heavy fighters in, and we can support them with the light fighters if we need to. Oh, that sucks. We're going to lose these guys. Uh, okay, so he's got a Dreadnought right there. What is he going to do? He's probably going to move here. So I'm going to move these guys up. Yeah, he's going to take those guys. I don't see how we can really avoid him. Hmm. I am getting my butt kicked right here. I don't know how they move in multiple directions. That's something that has eluded me thus far. I can move more fighters, but this is the only one that's going to matter. Damn. So I, I've basically lost already. I'll attack, but it's not going to matter. He's going to kill these guys, and then he'll take my command ship next turn. Yep. And that's the game. So, I didn't do very good there. We'll give it another shot, though, because obviously, uh... I'm still learning. I'm going to put... Let's see. I'm going to put my command ship right here so it can't be attacked from that direction. And I think I'm going to flank it with a Dreadnought, and then maybe a Carrier. Since the fighters can move around, I think I'm going to put them in the back. Well, not necessarily in the back, but I'm going to, you know, protect them a bit. I'll do minefields. Mm. I'm not sure how I should do this. Let's see, let's see. I'm going to put you there. Let's move you over. I'm going to put minefields on either side of the command ship. 
put the other dreadnought way out there. Scatter you guys in the middle a bit. I haven't really played with them yet. I want to see what kind of range they have. Put the heavy fighters in front of them, like so. We'll do light fighters sort of intermittently through here. Still got one of you guys left. Let's put you there, maybe. We'll do something like that and that. I don't know. We're just kind of winging it because I don't know any real strategy for this game yet. So who would we like to discover first? Let's find out what that is. Okay, so those are heavy fighters. We're going to lose our light fighters. But now we know what that is. What do we have here? Okay, so we got some fighters there, and they're going to send those guys in. That sucks. That really sucks. I'm going to take out these fighters, and we'll try to take those out as well. He's probably... No, okay, he's not going to try to wipe those out. Let's see what we got here. More fighters, okay. He's going to probably send in some heavies as well and take this guy out too. Nope. They're going to counter it though and take each other out. My turn. I'm going to make sure these heavies go down. So, obviously, a good strategy for this game is to attack with light fighters and then support with heavy fighters. So let's try that here. I just don't know how they're attacking as they are. Like, I can't really move in multiple directions like they are. So let's go for you, I guess. Oh, that's a minefield. Can you continue to move? Yeah, just keep moving then. And I can move one more. Let's not do that. I think I'll just end my turn. So they're going to take out my light fighters. But that's to be expected, I guess. Those are very much like pawns. So what might that be? We don't know. But they know what this is, so I imagine they've got something planned right there. Let's send in... Really? That's as far as you can go, huh? I guess do that right here. We're going to find out what this guy is. Um, move. Really? That's all you can do. Go there, I guess. So I'm going to send you here. We'll find out what that is. Um, I'm going to send in you to help out, and we'll take him out. And we can retreat one of them. Let's retreat the... Oh, I can't select which, I just select where. We'll also select there then. And we'll lose these light fighters to those heavies. I hope they don't go for a sacrifice here, but they very well might. Hmm. Let's see, how should we handle this? I'm going to put some light fighters here. I want to figure out what these guys are in the back. They're obviously holding the back for a reason. So we want to find out what. And oh, they're going to suicide here to take out one of my battle cruisers. Okay. Fair enough. That kind of sucks, but you know what are you going to do? Let's figure out what the hell this is. Uh, we're not going to be able to take that out. So we're just going to have to sacrifice those guys. You know, I guess. Let's see what this is. Ooh, that's a shame. We're going to lose two groups of fighters on that one. I was hoping that would be some light fighters that they were using to scout with. So let's see here. You can't move very far. I don't really have any fighters left to support them with. Let's get you over here then.
So they're gonna go to there. Let's find out what this is. Oh, okay. That works. I'm gonna put you here. We're gonna destroy his nega field or whatever. So then his battle cruiser is gonna take my fighters out. But that's okay because we set him up to lose that. So we're gonna hit him here with the heavies. We'll send in the lights right behind them, and there goes his battle cruiser. So maybe not the best sacrifice there, but you know. They seem to be making plenty of those, so I'm happy to sort of do that as well. Hmm. Let's move you over. We're gonna see what he's gonna do here. Let's try to bait him into attacking this, maybe. We're pretty well protected with this guy. What might that be, I wonder? <laughs> Let's see. So, we know he's got two dreadnoughts left. A couple of fighters still. His two minefields and a single battle cruiser. Hmm. I don't know. I'm going to move you up. He's going to... Oh, he's not going to engage. Well, I'll engage him then. That was a mistake on your part. But now he knows what this is. I think that was his play all along. They're going to sacrifice some fighters here. Oh, I thought they were maybe going to give that ship up. Let's take them on. There's another couple down. Okay, so he knows what this is now, and he's going to go after it. That's a bit worrisome. We know he's got two dreadnoughts left, so... Well, that moved too far to be a dreadnought, is my thinking. So I think I'm going to attack this. He can't support it if I attack. So yeah, we'll take these fighters out. He's going to move to here, and I need to move you out of his range. So let's do that. He's going to move to here. Hmm. The thing is, if I attack with like a Dreadnought, I can't support it with anything else. So I might have to sacrifice Dreadnoughts there. But I would prefer not to lose these fighters. So let's get them over here. Because that's really my only like scout ship I have left. So if I tack there, we both lose our dreadnoughts. But I think he's going to do that anyways. So maybe I should save my ships. The question is, what is this? That's what I want to know. Yeah, go there. And he's going to take that. That's fine. I mean... That's all that could really happen right there. This game is very strategic. I'm actually really enjoying it. Um, you really have to think. And obviously there's a lot of like, you know, meta strategies I don't know that I need to know in order to, you know, play this effectively. So I'm, I'm slowly learning. Obviously the, the fighter combo that they were working on was uh, a pretty big one. He's going to engage. Oh, there's the other Dreadnought. Well, now we know where it is. We still have one of ours, they still have one of theirs. I don't know what I should do here. Um, so what does he have left? We know that he's got a dreadnought and a minefield. Somewhere floating around he's got a command ship, a battle cruiser, some light fighters, and a minefield. So I'm thinking that this is probably the battle cruiser since he's moving it around. I'm going to try to meet it head on with this, and I'm going to keep these fighters in the fight if I can, because obviously anything he's got left aside from the Dreadnought and the Battlecruiser, these can take on. So that's my thinking. 
So apparently you can move these twice. Oh yeah, there you go. Interesting, okay, so I'm, I've just been doing it wrong this whole time. You basically have to click one tile at a time before you confirm anything. I've been like double clicking. So that's the, that's the issue. I'm gonna shoot you all the way back here and we'll see what happens. He's gonna move around. I think he's gonna try to go for you. Um, the Nega Field can't move very far. Is he gonna go for it? I think he's gonna go for it, yep. So the Dreadnoughts go down. As I said, that's to be expected. This has gotta be the Battle Cruiser then. So, in that case, let's move here. And, oh, I only get one, but hopefully that is his command ship. Nope, that's the battle cruiser. so we just lost. What is this, then? What is that? It's got to be his light fighters, then. Okay. Well, in that case, all we can really do is uh, hope we can get it with this. But that'll be destroyed, so he, he's won no matter what at this point. I'm going to try to box him in. He's going to attack it. Okay, so we lose that. Damn, I was so close that time. It was so close. <sighs> Nothing I can really do here. Um, so he's won this one. Let's see. Let's, uh, let's go back to the main menu real quick. So there are a couple other characters. We've got Admiral Ivars and humans. Um... Nakum here, who is some squid-like alien. Captain Londi, who is somewhat human, but she got like a cyborg eye. And she looks sort of like... I don't know, I think she's got like a Russian type thing going on here. And then we got Space Ducks, named Daniel. That's kind of funny. With a pretty cool helmet that he's rocking there. So yeah, there's different factions and stuff. I imagine they have different ships. And they'll play slightly different, so there'll be different strategies when facing one versus the other. But obviously the game is very strategic, very tactical. Um, it's going to take uh, quite a bit of learning on my part to you know, play this effectively. I'm losing to the AI, which is never a good sign. But um, yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you'd like to see more, let me know in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching. I had a great time playing some Lou Pulsifer's Doomstar with you guys, and I look forward to seeing you back here for my next first look video.